Hey, see you from Las Vegas Scooters and Lifts again. And today I got a new toy. Yeah, so, okay, we've got the new to us, the Buzz Around Carry-On. Now, this scooter was released in 2019, I believe, set about the same time as the uh, Pride's iRide was released. And this is their um, Golden's version of the uh, folding scooter, lightweight folding scooter with lithium-ion batteries, or battery. Now... When you first get one of these scooters, if you do purchase one and you uh, purchase it online and you have to assemble the scooter yourself, there are some funny little quirks with it uh, straight out of the box. So a couple of things that you have to uh, assemble on the scooter. And, uh, so definitely look through your owner's manual on how to assemble and uh, put the scooter together ready for you to ride it. I'll quickly go through some of the some of the things that you have to do to get the scooter ready. Obviously, the seat is taken off the uh, scooter when it's packaged in the box, as you saw the box earlier. So that's one thing you would have to put on the uh, scooter, which is what it's designed to do. Uh, I did find raising the seat a little bit uh, awkward when it was out of the box. It's, you've got to lift it in a certain place, which I'll show you. You also have to Assemble your cup holder, which is they supply you with the Allen wrench to do that, and also your basket. If you've gone for the basket option, you have to assemble this bracket onto the front of the tiller. And uh, so, once you've uh, raised your tiller and assembled those few parts and put your seat on, which I'll show you how to take the seat on and off, and how to fold the mechanism and how to unfold it. Just quickly going over the scooter, obviously it's a, a four-wheel scooter, so that gives you great stability. Uh, it does have front and rear LED lights, which I'll show you those uh, working when it's uh, plugged in and switched on. But uh, one of the things you do have to do when you do get the scooter from the uh, factory, or from out of the packaging, is this little tab here at the back there, which is housed under this. Just unscrew these two little uh, handles there and then lift that up and then remove this uh, bit of paper there it says the scooter will not, oper not operate until the power fuse is installed remove the cover move fuse as shown reinstall the cover okay so to the rear of the scooter is this little uh, hatch cover here and this is where your uh, I showed you that bit of paper there. You would unscrew these little handles here and then lift this off out of the way. As you can see, there's your your controller that controls the scooter. And this is the fuse they're talking about. Uh, you can see that. That's the one that you, that's just a spare fuse, obviously, because it says spare fuse. And just what I recommend doing is remove your battery by pressing the push button there and just remove the battery just in case we get any surges of, elect uh, of electricity going through the controller and just lift that fuse out and then relocate it in that socket just there just make sure you put it in correctly because it uh, can be a little bit awkward but make sure it's uh, located right okay yeah so just locate your fuse from there and pop it in that little holder there just make sure it goes in correctly and then just give it a push down and make sure it's seated correctly it's in in the holder correctly and then just replace your cover putting it the front end in first and then tighten up these screws so that doesn't come loose and just be careful like i said don't uh, carry any drinks on there and spill anything on this portion of the scooter because it could get into the controller and damage it you've also got your battery insert there which is uh, this is a standard battery pack that you get from uh, golden and it's a uh, 15 ah they do sell an optional um, 
I think it's uh, a 6.5 AH, which makes the uh, battery pack then airline friendly. And to replace the battery, you just put it in this end and then just lower it down and you hear it click. And then to open it again, just press the button where it says push, put your finger on under, and then you can raise your battery and remove it. I might as well show you this on the battery pack already. On the back side of the battery pack, you have your charging port there for your for your battery, so you don't have to take the whole scooter into into the house. You can leave it in your vehicle if you wish to, and still charge the battery there. On the back of the battery, it does give you specifications. It's a 24 volt, 15 AH, 360 watt hour. Now that's above the airline's. Uh, recommendations for travel batteries for lithium-ion travel batteries there is a cap a limit of 300 watt hours so you would have to get the uh, lower capacity travel battery to take this scooter on an airline but uh, if you're just using this for everyday use you get a little handle there so you can carry the battery just like a piece of uh, not string but it's elasticated there so you can carry the battery around if you wanted to. I think they do make optional bags for the battery. But like I say, just pop it in that end, lower it down and push. And that locates your battery. So now we should have power to the scooter. Now we've uh, replaced and put the fuse in. So as you can see now the power is on the scooter. You can actually freewheel the scooter. That's your freewheel lock lever there. So that locks the uh, the scooter in place, and then you switch it to the other position, and that gives you freewheel. Now, if that fuse is blown, it won't freewheel. So that gives you a little bit of an indication if uh, your fuse is blown. That's why they give you a spare fuse. So if your scooter's in the freewheel position, and it won't push forward, it won't freewheel like it is doing, then it could be a fuse problem. So just check that, check your fuse, if uh, if your spare's in there, swap it over just to make sure. Now we're ready to move up to the top tiller. So your top tiller it has all the usual goodies on there. It has your key, your uh, battery gauge indicator and your speed dial. Obviously your light switch and your little horn button there. And these are your operating throttles forward and reverse or forward and reverse so you can use them either direction depending on your your uh, your needs so with your easy pull key basically on off switch there and uh, your key there you do get a spare key with it just a standard spare key so make sure that your free wheel brake lever is in the drive position which is this bottom position meaning drive and the top one is freewheel you can see the little stick figures pushing the cart and this one's riding the cart so to ride it must be in the zero position and come to the top tiller and turn your key on and your power gauge is showing full and your horn yep that works your lights so these are your led path lights nice and bright very similar to the uh, Jazzy ZT, the zero turn eight. I think they've uh, kind of copied that a little bit. And then you have a rear tail light there. There you get a picture of it there. Obviously your anti-tip wheels there at the back. They, I'm sure they all help with uh, moving the scooter around when it's in its folded position. The seat does not turn, so that's uh, one of the things that most of the folding scooters have is uh, the seats are in a static position. You can't move them up, down, or swivel them around. Okay, so also on your top console, or top tiller, you have your charging port. So while the battery is in the scooter, you would swing this open, obviously with the power off, and plug your charger into that port there. I don't know if you can see it there. There we go. And it just has a little cover there that you just swing over. There's also a fuse just there, and that will be one of the glass type fuses. It'll be a slow blow fuse or something like that. 
and also your USB charge port there. Not illuminated, but uh, you do get a, a charge port. Also on your top tiller is your tiller adjustment lever. We'll move that out of the way. And that's this yellow handle here. And basically you would pull that towards you like a brake handle. And that way you can adjust the tiller to where you feel comfortable, as well as also fold the tiller down for when it's uh, in travel mode or when you want to travel. Top speed on this uh, scooter, a little bit less than your travel scooters. It's a 3.6 mile an hour speed, which is ample enough for somebody who's walking alongside of you. They'll probably have to have a stride on to keep up. But that's typical for these type of scooters, between three and four miles an hour for the travel type scooters. Has a 300 pound weight capacity, so it covers a great uh, array of people. And uh, also the armrests do flip up like so, so you can get on and off the chair a little bit easier. Like I said, it doesn't rotate, but they, they do flip up like that. Like I said, the armrests don't really lock in any way. They're kind of free moving like that. They, they kind of go back on their own, so it can be easily knocked out of the way. They don't kind of lock in position or anything. You can pull them forward and move them like that for storage, I guess. But I'm not sure if you would ever do that because the seat has to come off when you uh, fold the scooter up. We've never had one of these scooters in our store before, so this is quite new to us. Since it's released, we, uh, we like I say, we didn't, had nobody ask for one of these. But uh, we had a gentleman call up the other day. He wanted to purchase one of these. Now, the colours, red or blue, you get to choose but you don't get both, unfortunately. So when you order, it's either red or blue. So, uh, but I'm sure you could change the color of the panels if you wanted to. I'm sure they just pop off, but they don't supply both red and blue. Now your front basket is foldable. That's the charger, lithium charger, and the uh, little Allen wrench there. And user manual, definitely read through that. But your basket is foldable and removable. And basically what you would do is push from underneath. There's like a little floor piece there. You just push that up and then your basket folds up neatly. Just like that. And it's uh, and it does actually come off. So just reassemble it. Just unfold it. Push down. And if you want to remove your basket, just give it a slight little tap from underneath. And your basket then comes away. I'll put that back on. Easy enough, and it just clicks in there. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate now how to disassemble and uh, reassemble this scooter, how you fold it, and what uh, you need to do. So, first thing, take your key out. Always take your key out. You don't want to be uh, breaking that off. Basket just slides on and off like that, just as normal. And it does fold up as well. I'll show you that. So you need to fold your seat back down and at the front of the seat here is a little yellow lever and this is how you would release the seat to get it off the scooter. So just from the front and back, left off as normal and then place the seat down. The next thing you would do is lower the actual seat frame itself. These two pull out handles, one of either side, you would just pull those out and that releases that to go down. So you can either leave the battery on or off. That way you can switch it into freewheel mode and freewheel the scooter. If the battery is off the scooter, you won't have that ability. It will not freewheel. But leave it in lock for now so you can work on the scooter. So to uh, drop the tiller, as you can see, just take that little sign off there, is that the little tiller brake handle like thing. And it has a, uh, a silver bracket there, which locates in this little bracket here. So when you do fold the tiller down, it locks into place and doesn't swing around. Now the base unit itself is 47.5 pounds. The chair is 12 pounds and, and combined is 65.5 pounds. So it's quite uh, up there in its uh, weight category. But uh, with this scooter, you have four lifting points one at the front, one on either side, 
and also you could lift from the back there there's quite a chunky piece of plastic there to grab hold of so depending on your situation of what you want to load the scooter or store the scooter to lift straight up use those handles there but you can actually use it like a piece of luggage and either side as you can see you've got a carry handle which kind of balances the scooter just right and you can carry it like that it is a little bit heavy at the uh, at the weight it is and then to reassemble just reverse the process press your yellow handle that releases the tiller up it's quite a uh, stiff spring load on there because of the piston so just be careful if you do pull that it will snap back on you so just support it as it goes up just to be uh, on the careful side so to lift the seat frame up i when we first got this i was trying to lift from here and it wouldn't lift i tried lifting from there i tried lifting from there it did not work lift from the back portion of the seat frame and it just lifts up nice and easy and clicks into place these uh, two plungers click into place then to replace your seat grab it from the back of the top of the uh, seat back that little cut out there that way you can see your seat post and then offer it up to the, to the seat there and then bring your seat back around and your armrests. Put that little thing back on there, make it look pretty. And that's basically how you would assemble, disassemble your uh, carry-on scooter. Oh, and of course, not forgetting the last thing, your basket just slides on and you've got your key there. So I'm now gonna test drive the scooter. So the charger you get with this scooter is just like your normal chargers, same sort of thing where you have the uh, the three prong that goes into the scooter and then the other end goes into your wall socket and like we said before never into an extension cord always into directly into the wall socket and we said uh, before you've got your two places that you can charge one on the tiller and one on the battery pack but you have to remove the battery pack from the scooter so that's a good option there but yep yeah. There's your charge, you get that with your uh, scooter. And also you use a manual, which we recommend reading through that, all the safety uh, aspects of the scooter, how to operate it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm now set on the scooter. The tiller is at its most forward position. And like I showed you before, you have that yellow handle on this right hand side that you can adjust the tiller towards you or to its furthest way. Just a little bit close. I'm uh, a little portly, to say the least. So it's it's still at arm's length, so it's not too bad. So you you've got good steer in there, so that's not too bad. You've got plenty of foot room, so depending on where you feel comfortable with your feet. So there's plenty of foot room. My feet are size 11 US, so I can put my feet there just to make sure they're at a right angle and not uh, uncomfortable. Like I said, the seat is a little bit on the small side, front and back. Width is not too bad. I don't feel constrained left and right, but those armrests do tip out of the way, as you can see. So they do tip out of the way, so that's not too much of a problem. But uh, always best to put the armrest back up. This kind of makes it a little bit more comfortable. So, like I showed you earlier, you have your speed dial, your key, your light on and off switch, and your little horn button, and all the rest of the extra things like your charge point and your USB charger. Cup holder, always handy, always in the right position for, for carrying your drinks. So, you can operate this scooter at either hand. So, if you wanted to go forward, you would have to push this side forward that way. And that moves the scooter forward to put it in turtle mode. Or you will pull it to, towards you on this side to make it go forward. And vice versa, push it forward to go backwards. Or pull it towards you on this side to go backwards. So just the same as any other scooter. Not sure if we could reverse those around. So if you were a left-hand person and you wanted that to be forward, I'd have to look into that to see whether or not that could be uh, altered or not. Some scooters you can do it on. But, okay, so we're in its slowest mode. I'm going to switch to my right hand so I 
which will then operate normally. So it is a feather throttle, just like most mobility scooters, like your gas, gas pedal in your car. You wouldn't press it all the way, you just pull it towards you slowly and it will take off nice and slowly at that set speed on your speed dial. So it's got a good turning radius, I'll give it that. It's nice and quiet, nice and smooth, so it will uh, negotiate most uh, places. It's very stable at this speed, of course, because it's, it's its slowest speed. So, yeah. So I'm going to switch over to my left hand now so I can operate the speed dial with my thumb and use the throttle there. I'll push it forward with my finger and then increase the throttle or slow it down, whichever. So let's put it at medium speed, at like half speed. So it has a slow start and then picks up speed to its set speed on the speed dial, just like most scooters. And with using your left hand, you can operate the uh, speed dial. So it's now picking up a bit more speed as I'm increasing the uh, the speed dial. It's like I say, its top speed is something like 3.5, 3.7 miles an hour, which I, I feel like it's kind of faster than that. It, top speed, it's more like four, if not more. So the wheels and tyres on this are a little bit small, but they are solid rubber, so you uh, won't have the problems of pneumatic tyres getting uh, flats and punctures. Uh, your rear tyres, they are quite comfortable and not too hard like some scooters where they can be a little bit uncomfortable. These aren't too bad. And uh, yeah, ground clearance on this, they say at, um, at the bottom of the footboard there, it's about four inches and about inch and a half of the motor. So you've got pretty good ground clearance there and your trailing wheels or your anti-tip wheels there at the back there. Like I said, 300 pound weight capacity. It's not a bad scooter, it's long enough. I've got size 11 feet, so my feet can get in there comfortable. Great turning radius uh, for a four wheel. That's, uh, that's always a, a plus. Um, not too keen on the armrests there where they, there is no locking mechanism for them for them to go back there is for them to go forward you have to pull the armrest forward and then it drops down but i don't know when you would use that i should have done that for the falling for the backward movement but they must have done that for a reason yeah cool design yeah i like it very similar to the jazzy zt or zt8 with the uh, two headlights there pretty cool nah. when you order these it's either red or blue you don't get to choose both. You know, either choose one or the other. A little bit of assembly to do from out of the box, but not too difficult. I think uh, you just remember that fuse. And they do give you a spare fuse as well, so just in case something untoward happens. Yeah, overall, it's uh, a pretty good little scooter. Glad we got one into review. So this will be number six in my review of, uh, of scooters, of folding scooters. And uh, like I said, with the lithium-ion batteries, you get good ranges, but uh, you do have to buy the optional travel battery if you do want to travel on the airline, due to, due to the standard battery size of the 15 AH and power battery. It's just a little bit too big for the airlines. I think I've mentioned that before. But yeah, so there you go. There's your brother around carry-on. It's uh, all in all, not bad little scooter. Like I said, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little review of it. Glad uh, we have the chance and opportunity to test one out and see what it actually functions like and feels like. Probably not a scooter for everybody, but uh, if, you do the, if you do get the opportunity uh, that you want to buy one of these, definitely test drive one, test it out, and then uh, judge your purchase from there. But yeah, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and uh, we appreciate that. Helps us out immensely. So yeah, there's your buzz around carry on. So have a good day. Bye now.